Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And I thought I'd get this out to see how this is going to all like transpire. I read through the instructions. There aren't many. And there is a picture with um, all the, the things that are here. Um, yeah, this will be different. So let's see how this goes. Now, I decided, see there's no, um, hang on. Let me bring you in just a bit. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Okay, there are no dots and it's not a squared off pattern or anything like diamond painting, so. I decided we'd just wing it. So, I came up on this side of that circle, and now I'm going back down the other side. And it seems to cover what we got going on here. So, I don't know. We'll just play it one thing at a time and see how, how it all goes. So, how was everybody's day? everybody have a good day I had a it was a fair day I'll give it that much but um, I was glad when it was over we had a <coughs> hang on guys Jeez. sorry about that I had to get the dog in so she'd stop barking okay now we're gonna do one of the bugle beads <laughs> we'll see how well that goes I got those four there but I, I don't know if I did them right or if I did them wrong, but we will see. And if I don't like them or whatever, I'll take them out. Okay, bugle beads, bugle beads, bugle beads. Okay, there's supposedly two on this side and two on that side. I figured that's the closest thing. At least they're big. They don't take much to get them in there. We'll see if they lay flat. Oh, they do. So I went down, and now I'm going to come back up. Yeah, that is if I can get it in the middle of that. And maybe only be able to do bugle beads. Oh, come on. That's why I like these lids, because you can pour your beads right down in there. And then you don't have to fish around in the big tank looking or trying to get it on the thing. Now we'll go down here. <coughs> I'm using uh, two strands. I mean, I took one strand and doubled it of the thread that they actually gave us. Here, I'm going to come back up. Sorry about the dog. And just to secure it for my own peace of mind, I'm going to go back through the bead and I've never sewn these kind of beads I've had them on necklaces but never sewn them on to anything <coughs> Molly hush and then I'll come back here and get a hold of it but I just wanted to see if I could try to do this and so far I'm not I could just hang on to this stupid needle we'd have it made. Then I'm going to come back down. And that way, and then kind of snug it just a bit. So that it holds that in place. Well, I got to say one thing. They should have, like, given you a complete picture of the actual bead that you're using because this is a little bit what do you call it confusing okay so on that this time that's where it's supposed to end so I'm gonna go down there and then I'm gonna instead of coming all the way back from the last time we're just gonna go right back where we were and that way it'll make it easier to go through that the second time and then nail it down there we go. That worked a lot better. And we're 
going to come up this side. That material is kind of heavy. I might, I don't know if I'll use my, uh, what do you call it? I usually use my quilting needles, but I, no, not today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull it down, pull it through, then come back up this end. Go back through just the one, and then we're going to go down and nail it because I don't see any other way. Now, this one is, it is the orange, let's see, five. Hmm. See, I can't tell the difference between, I guess these are the bigger ones. So that would be number five over here. And they are a little bit bigger. Let's see. I think we got plenty. Whoa. Escapee. Escapee. We have an escapee bugle bead. I'm looking on my thing to see if it came off of there. There's no way. I nailed it twice down. So we will see. Get it to come out. Come on. These are a little bit bigger, so they're going to go right here. So I'm just going to go cattywampus. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but we'll wait and see. I'm glad this thing is small. Oops. Oh, what in the heck happened? Oh, I guess that was the end of my material. And number four is like this, almost the same color, but it's a little bit smaller. So, we'll just attach these. Does it say what number? What did I say that was? Five? Hmm. It doesn't say if it's five millimeter, three millimeter, two millimeter, but they look pretty close to threes I would say and I still haven't established if there's anything inside of this part of the Mandela so we will just keep on moving I think I'm going to have to have another piece of thread. We're gonna, and it did say to put a knot in the bottom, uh, at the end of your thread on this one specifically. Okay. Let me get a knot made in this. This materi or material, this thread is just kind of weird. I'm not used to using them. I'm used to using DMC floss. I'm trying to Get it to hold in together. It's kind of like using fishing line, I swear. But it, it's cotton-ish. It's just real fine cotton. Okay, so we got all that. Now, there is one on each side of that. So it looks like number seven. Let me put these away. We may keep changing here. It's not. I don't want to go all the way around. I want to finish a section, so we'll see if if that would be appropriate for it or not. I'm using my new little containers, and these are a little bit bigger, and they appear to be um, glass. They're they're pretty dense, so I don't think. Now these right here are metal. We got it. Well, if I can get the thread undone. Boy, doesn't pay to use DMC floss all the time, man. You just can't use hardly anything else. Then I don't know what's going to go. 
Oh, those are sixes. When I get done. Oh, please. I've only got two here. I hate to put, hand, I wash my hands and they're really dry. I'd hate to use um, any hand lotion is what I was going to say. Okay, this one is there. We will see what happens. Aren't they pretty? They're huge. You'll see them when I get it nailed down. I'm going to nail this twice. Just because it is so heavy. So I'll come back up. Go through. Now there is a white one. Right there. And that white one is number one. So we'll get, and it's a crystal. We'll see it here in a minute. Kind of a silver crystal. And you cannot see what I'm doing. I can't, there we go. Sorry, y'all, y'all. This is kind of new. It's like started being cross stitch all over again. Okay, so this one goes right in there. And I think I'll just nail it twice too while I'm there. Okay. So we got that at the top of that. Now I'm going to tie it off. That is if I can get it to go where I want it to. Molly, would you shush? And then we'll go on this side and we'll do this one in close. This is going to be the big one. Nail it down. And come back up. I can come back up. God, I hate these needles. They are just not sharp. Hardly at all. So if you're planning on doing this, go out and buy you some better needles. Because I, I hate beating needles to start out with. So, But that's my, my issue. Other people might not think that. Okay. And then we're going to put one of the crystals at the end. They're not Savorkin crystals, or however you say that word. Savorkin's not the word. Savarsky, or something to that effect. Anyway. And then go right back down. All right, let's see, how's that doing? So we got all that done. Now we gotta go back and do those right there. Let me put this away. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're not gonna need that for a while, so we'll put them away. And what color? Got to move. Okay, so those are six. Oh, God. And those. Hmm. Let's get them out. Hmm. Not too many of them. What is the deal? Nope. I'm sorry. It's number two. Like 
that is not going to work because those are just a little bit bigger. Yep, I should have started on the peacock. These are the silver. Oh, they look like metal. I'm going to set that right back where it belongs. Yep. And I'm going to come up. On that dot, I'm gonna have to get another piece of crap of thread. So I wasn't expecting to go quite this far. And then come back. So I think I could probably come up. Let's try going up through the dot this time. And then on the other side of the dot. That way they'll stay close together. Come on. Ugh. In a way, this is kind of a hot mess. They all seem to be pretty consistent in size. Come back right next to it. And up in the next. When I get done threading them all there together, I'm going to run um, another thread down through them all so that they all stay consistently where they're supposed to be. I've got to get new thread. This is ridiculous. I want to make sure you get a pretty good knot because it's got to hold them beads like a piece of tape on my pair of scissors. It's like, no wonder I can't do what I need to do. Hang on, guys. Let me look. Hmm. That is not the way that looks. Well, it does look like number two. What color is the other sequined? They are 11. 11. Hmm. Well, we certainly have plenty of them, so we will see. I can't seem to tell. You know, that looks like the silver beads. And it doesn't look like, you know, in the picture I'm looking at, it doesn't look like there's anything in the middle of each of those. So, we'll have to see. Get that threaded get us a decent piece of thread to work with. Of course, it'll probably knot up on me, you know, that's how this stuff goes. That's why I don't use it very often. But, you know, hell, we'll, we'll go with it today. Come up. Just get it in the thing. And when we tack it down, I'm only going to uh, tack like two or three at a time so that they'll tack in a semi-circle. It's a little different. Come up. Got to pull that thread just a tad bit tighter. Move it over just a tab. A 
one more to go after this. Hang on, oh my god. Oh, come on. Police! Oh, jeez. I think I need to get rid of that stupid damn needle. Drives me insane. Ugh. Okay. I think we got them in there. Now I'm going to come up over here. Oh, shoot. Of course, I come right back. Okay. Two can play this stupid game. Okay, so we're going to come up over here. One. Come on. Two. Come on. Oh, for pity's sake. It's like, how much frustration can one person have? This is why I don't use this stupid damn thread. It's just everywhere. Okay. And I gotta get this last one. And we're gonna go right down there. Hold that. Then we're gonna come back up. It's not like you're gonna run out of thread, guys, so. No. Shoot. Okay. Up there. Gonna go through that one. That one. And that one. And go down. But at least it'll hold him in place. And then this is going to go through the left. Jeez. Crap. Well, whatever I can get it through, it's going through. Okay. So that holds them together. And then we're going to go right back down underneath. Oh, that went well. There you go. Now it's at least arched. Okay, now while I'm here, I'm going to go up, maybe, and let's see how this goes in between all, well, I'm going to take them th shit. through two of them. And go back just a little bit to tack it down. And then we're going to come from this side so that we can draw them together. Go through. Crap. Sorry, guys. I know you can't see what the hell I'm doing. Okay. I went through three so that we can bridge the gap, hopefully. Maybe. Holy cow. This is so not as easy as it looks. Oh, Christ, I swear. Just seems like those beads should have been a little bit bigger. But they weren't. Let me put these away before I spill them all over Kingdom Come. And that's the only one it lists. So maybe I should have sewed them down as I went. I don't know. I guess you live and learn. Oh, crap. But. Crap. I don't like that stupid gap. Hang on. See if I can bridge it or not. If not, I might have to take it out. And that looks better. Let's see. 
we're, we're just faking it right now, people, because I'm trying to make it look good. All right. Well, if in the end I don't like it, I will take it out. All right. Well, I'm frustrated to pieces. So sooner or later it'll go better after I've done this a few thousand times. And Well, at least it's not a big project, but I just wanted to show you what one section looked like. That was my main goal. Okay, thread. I've had it. So there's one section. I wouldn't say it lays too smooth, but hell, we'll see. But um, honestly, I cannot see. It doesn't look like there's a bead within there. <coughs> and it has to be threes, because I'll show you where we were working. So we're right, 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 right. We just did this one of these little sections right here. So let me turn it over. Oh, hell. Okay, so here's the same section, only it's going different. And then over here, the only thing that's that dark red is this one here. Oh, I can just move it. So, I don't know, guys. We'll bring it out a bit. Okay, so you see that three? That's supposed to be those right there. So, we'll see. We will see. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening. God bless. Bye-bye.